Shari, what's the relationship between lawyers, scepticism and help seeking? When they do surveys of, of people in different professions on a whole range of different personality measures, one of the consistent findings is that lawyers rate much higher than any other professions and certainly the general population in scepticism. And if you think about what, what's involved in being a lawyer, it's having that critically analytical mind, being able to take in a whole lot of information and being able to make judgments on that. So scepticism is actually quite a valuable tool for being successful in the field. However, it's not helpful when it comes to your mental health. Simply telling someone can help to overcome that. So you need that fact basis for decisions. What that means though then, when people are looking for help or are aware that they may be needing help, is that they'll take that sceptical mind into it. Mm. And they may be um, intrinsically doubtful as to whether or not it will be of assistance to them. Mm -hmm. Fundamentally, if people don't go into any, anything with an open mind, then it's less likely to be effective. So using that um, critically, critically inquiring mind can actually be beneficial here because you could use that sense of scepticism to check out what's going to be most helpful to you, to find out what are some other avenues that other people may have been helpful, to one, alleviate your fear of whether or not will work to overcome the scepticism, but also to normalise it and to let you know that it's okay to be going and finding somebody. If you do go and, um, and see somebody, there's lots and lots of evidence to show that psychological therapy is very effective in terms of helping people overcome mental health difficulties to build resilience and long term to have improved functioning in the workplace. So talking with the practitioner that you were seeing, if you did see someone, and making sure that the therapies that they're using fit with you as a person, that they're meeting your goals and that you're on track to achieve what it is that you need to achieve from that process there, rather than simply trusting that it will be okay. You're an active participant in the sessions. Mm -hmm. So scepticism can actually sometimes be helpful in terms of making sure that you're sourcing appropriate help and also making sure that things stay on track along the way.